Instagram is India based and uh, you managed to get a slice of the huge fintech pie uh, that is in India. Tell us how you uh, managed to do that. We started Paytm in 2009. Uh, we named it as Pay Through Mobile. Uh, I think one of the things that worked in our favor was that we took a bet, uh, a couple of bets actually. The first one was that the country would move to a mobile interface and the other bet that we took was digital payments would happen ubiquitously. Mm -hmm. So over the last few years, we spent a lot of money and investment into this particular area. Keeping the consumer happy with the interface is extremely important to us and I think those are uh, the, the, the top reasons why I think we've done what we've done. And what's uh, regulation like in uh, India versus uh, here in the US, for example, when it comes to fintech? The edge in India, I would say, over the US is that the regulation is pretty centralized. Um, in India, for instance, to do a, a wallet or a banking license, there is one license that you need to work with, as opposed to the US where, you know, 50 states and roughly 50 licenses that you have to worry about. Um, the other thing is that I think India is way ahead. Uh, open banking is a conversation that happens sometimes in London and also in, in North America. In India, it's a reality. There are several apps that you can use to bank with whichever you want. And uh, what are your thoughts uh, with regards to APIs and the industry trend towards more open APIs? So open APIs are actually extremely useful for the end user. Yeah. I think it opens up a lot more competitive options for the end consumer. So, and in, so at the end of the day, it is actually a beautiful thing. So I think opening up APIs, allowing the consumer a much better choice than what they ever had before is absolutely a wonderful thing for, for, for the whole economy as well. Harinder, thank you very much. Thank you.